Miami's done a good job converting, slightly ahead of the NFL average, which is about 40%. Tua with pressure coming, runs right into it, the ball's loose! And the Dolphins are on it way back at the 43. Brian Burns is the one who knocked it out in his career for Brian Flores. On a third down six, the pass is incomplete. DJ Moore, I think it bounced off of him. Blocked! The Dolphins special teams! Can they get a touchdown out of it? The shove forward, touchdown Dolphins! Not a blocked punt! Play clock, he gets it in time. Downfield wide open. Catch made. DJ Moore weaving inside the 10 yard line. First and goal, Panthers. Then Cam Newton. He's got it. And Cam Newton hits a wall. Then his second effort, touchdown, Carolina. Actually seeing the pressure. Good down for him on second and four. The fake, the flip. Preston Williams falls right at the first down marker. Averaging just 77 yards a game on the ground, but maybe it's when you rush and how effective you are. Tua has time and hits for the first down at the 48-yard line. It's Jalen Waddle from the 45 of Carolina. Tua out of the pocket. Can it? No, he's thrown down. He had a chance to escape. But Phil Hoskins wouldn't let him go. His touchdown run. After a 44-yard punt, McCaffrey with a hole and a first down. Thrown down just short of the 25-yard line. On a third down one, McCaffrey back in for Cam Newton. Who will keep and Cam Newton gets the first down up to the 35-yard line. Cincinnati a little bit further back right now at this point than Carolina, but we'll see if Carolina can continue to claw out of that hole. Extra pressure is picked up. Cam Newton has a moment, but he's intercepted. It's Javon Holland, the rookie with his second pick of the year. Only in his fourth year, Patrick Laird comes in now on third and five. Tua hangs with the snap, throws, and incomplete. Waddle looked like he fell down. Amir Abdullah comes in, chance for... The Dolphin defense with Newton in his own end zone throwing and intercepted again. A takeaway from the 25-yard line and running it back is Xavier Howard. Third and goal. Tua fires in the end zone. Catch at the goal line. Jalen Waddle has a Dolphin touchdown. What a throw from Tua Tagovailoa. And Waddle held on. He has a moment, and nobody there. I know Dolphin fans want to see him throw down the field more. If he has time, fires one there. That's right on target to Jalen Waddle, and he is zooming inside the 15 of the Panthers. To protect to us so he had time. That covered 57 yards. It's a way to get it downfield. Ahmed, close. To a first down. I knew they were going to do a wildcat eventually. And that's Miles Gaskin looking for somewhere to go. He gets a block. Gaskin to the goal line, to the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins! Miles Gaskin! Into overtime and won that game down 21, late in the third, going into the fourth. Another batted pass. That's especially the Dolphins lead the NFL this defense in that category. Gaskin to the bottom of your screen on third and four. Tua throws that way. Catch made, and he held up for the first down. Ball oh, always watch the whether you're a lineman or receiver, and they're just going to kind of let Gaskin handle this with one timeout remaining, and the Panthers will use their last one. Let's see if Miami brings the blitz here. There is extra pressure. He's hit as he throws. Andrew Van Ginkle got to Newton, and it's fourth down. Sideline throw. Can he get out of bounds? It's Gesicki again, and they said no, he did not. 
to a juggling catch inside the 35. The pass was right on target and eventually hauled in by Isaiah Ford. Is worth a shot. Oh boy, this may be a difficult thing to do as Tua can't come up with it. And without any timeouts, the Panthers have it. Frankie Lou Vu, the pitch, and this will come to an end as the half comes to an end. We'll try from 41 yards away. It's up there, it's out there, and through somehow. On a third and one, Cam Newton does have the touchdown run. He kept it himself. He gives. Abdullah will not make it. He's experiencing that, how to carry that down the line, challenge the defender, fake punt. It's a fake. And they're going to get the first down. Plenty of running room up near midfield. Sean Chandler. What they have in place against Miami this week. Underneath. Abdullah will be short of the first down. Savan Ahmed in the back on third and a yard, or less than a yard. Tua pitches to him. He's got room for the first down and gets it for the Dolphins. And to it as he moved upfield. Third and six. Panthers blitz. It's picked up. Tua throws high, but catching it and coming down at the 40 is Jalen Waddle. Played him. J.C. Horn, the yeah. top draft pick. Got hurt. Quick pass. Smythe inside the 30. It's another Dolphin first down. Miles Gaskin inside the 35. It'll bring up a third down. Maybe trying to get a little closer for a field goal try if they don't get the first. Flag down. Unsportsmanlike conduct taunting defense number 43. From them here in the second half. To a hazard. It's a flip to the tight end, and that's Smythe breaking tackles inside the 10. It's a direct snap to Gasket. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. A handoff and then a handoff. And the extra point. Right at the goal line, they're pointing. Another batted pass. I mean, that's that's another no, question probably, that they have to answer. Probably not. I think they would admit that now. Lindsay with running room and a first down. Time for a game break. Here's Carissa. Philip Lindsay carries. To, uh, to Albert Wilson. Stays inside the 30 and in bounds. The kick is good. But just runs him right over. Walker, quick drop, quick throw, and right on target going out of bounds near the first down marker to D.J. Moore. Two sacks for Phillips today. P.J. Walker is trying to run around to make something happen. He does, floats one, and that's intercepted. Third takeaway for Miami, and Nick Needham went to the turf to make that happen. They're, they're looking for some help there, picking up Philip Lindsay, who's already carried nine times today. As Tua delivers to Albert Wilson, who does not get the first down. Had he fallen forward, he might have had it. A.J. Boye was running with Interesting that they came up. The running back took the snap. From San Francisco. There's Smythe dancing around. It's Philip Lindsay who is close to another first down inside the 20-yard line. Jackson banged up a little bit. 
And that's Gaskin. Miles Gaskin knocked down right away. But I like that Tua told us that he had talked to, I think it was Drew Brees he mentioned. He said, before you can win a game, you got to learn you know, to not lose the game. 33-yard try for Sanders. He missed the extra point, but he made the 46-yarder, and he hits here. That's an encouraging sign for the Dolphins. Who performs the best in the late games? Each of them do special things. Debo Samuel more of a runner these days. What a throw, and on target near midfield to Brandon Zilstra. One team outside of your division is, is Buffalo. At Buffalo. Underneath. Erickson. Inside the 45 of Miami. And he mentioned Andy Reid as, as a guy that he respects, the way that he hung in there. On fourth and short, open and delivered for the first down at the 29-yard line to Robbie Anderson. So, you know, Coach Rule referenced that stamina of being able to hang in there and be consistent and be, you know, sustainable year after year, be competitive year after year. He thought about running, but he's going to be sacked back at the 24-yard line. Christian Wilkins on fourth and 22. No field goal try here. Walker for the end zone, leaping and incomplete. Completion percentage, 87.1%. So it's the fourth best in Miami history. But what a turnaround. For Brian Flores, as has been the case his first couple of seasons, knows how to get it done in November and after the 1-7 and seven start. They win their fourth straight and their fifth win of the year.